Hey guys, this is Travis with Equator Bushcraft coming at you with another gear review today. Today we're going to be reviewing the 511 Rush 72 bag. What I'd like to do is zoom the camera in a little bit, show you guys the different size pockets, how it carries, what it looks like on me, different things like that to help you make the decision if this is the bag for you or not. Okay guys, so first off, before we start unpacking this bag and me showing you the dimensions and different things inside, I want you guys to see this bag on me. I'm six foot tall, 175 pounds. So just so you can see, I've got 34 pounds of gear in this right now. And this is what it looks like. And as you can see, as I've done some studying on this, the average US American male is five foot nine inches tall. <clears throat> and I think what 511 has done is they have made this bag for that average US male. And the only thing that would make this bag better and would be my number one bag would be if it had a yoke adjustment. Because a five foot nine US male, his torso length is a lot shorter than mine. And so what ends up happening is these, this waist belt ends up being useless. It does nothing. I can suck this all the way in. It takes no weight off my shoulders, unfortunately. Other than that, this bag is a wonderful bag. Uh, I would really consider it, guys, if you're 5'10", 5'9", and under, it's probably the best bag, one of the best bags you could buy. But if you're above that, I would suggest going somewhere and trying it on putting some gear inside of it, making sure that it's going to be comfortable for you. I, I put this on for about an hour with this same gear that's in here the other day, just walking around doing normal chores, and within an hour I was, I was dying. It was killing me. Uh, very disappointed about that because I love this bag. I have the Rush 24s, um, hands down, just wonderful bags to throw inside of a side box on a vehicle, carry on your four-wheeler, to beat up. They take a lot of abuse. I, I love these bags. In fact, I wanted to bring the 24 out here just so you guys can see the Rush 24 on this side and the Rush 72. Now, this one isn't packed out. This just got some clothes in it. This one's packed out right now, but you can see the size difference. The Rush 72, Rush 24. That's what they look like. So once again, I want to add once again that if you're 5'9 and under, um, this bag is probably going to be great. It's going to support the weight very nicely. If you're above that, and even what I've read in some different reviews and stuff, 6 foot, 6 foot 2 guys are struggling. It's all on their shoulders. And I myself has found, have found that to be true as well. So what I'd like to now, uh, do now is zoom in on this bag and let you guys uh, see as I unpack it the different pocket sizes what I'm carrying in this bag. Okay guys, so first off uh, as, uh, as most 511 tactical products are, this is water resistant 1050 denier nylon. It's got all kinds of different compartments and different things. I'd like to start with the outside and work my way in. It's very difficult to find sizes of these pockets anywhere on uh, 511's website anywhere you'll find the main compartment size which we'll talk about in a second. What I've done is taken a tape measure and tried to, to measure these the best I could. It has two of these side pockets. They're the same size on each side and each one of those is 15 inches high by six inches wide by two and a half inches deep. And they hold quite a bit of stuff. I, I've been pretty impressed with this. And what I carry in this one also, they have two compression straps here. Let me start there before I unzip this to really cinch things down. And if you've got gear inside this stowaway pocket, this stuff pocket, you can cinch it down in there. So we'll undo this, the cinch straps. And in this side pocket, I have a Katie Dine uh, Hiker water filter. So that fits in there. And that goes on top of my Dave Canterbury, the Pathfinder. Uh, cup, nesting cup, bottle, and the fish gaff. I carry that in this side pocket. Fits nicely in here. But as you can see, it's a very nice size pocket. And inside this pocket, there's a pocket on the lower, right here. 
there's another little divider pocket up on top here that you could put some different things in. For me, it just seems to work for this big bulky stuff that I'm going to be using a lot, have to get access to. On the other side, same kind of deal, compression straps, undo those. I've got some different galls in here, some galls, and all of my 550 cord, all of this carabiners, different things like that. I got my Laplander uh, saw in here, Baco Laplander. So I keep all of that because you're going to need that. You're going to need it readily available. All your cordage and different things. On the top here, we've got some morale patch or name. Uh, hook and loop to put your name on, name tags, whatever. It's just one strip, so it's not going to be a very big morale patch if you have that. But this pocket here is five inches high by eight and a half inches wide by two inches deep. Let me unzip that. You can see bandana. But inside this pocket, you have this webbing here. I just carry some purify, uh, water purifier tablets by Aquamara in there. Up here, you got another divider pocket. I got gum and a signal mirror, Advil, Tums, just stuff like that, duct tape, duct tape and everything. So as you can see, that's, that's a pretty nice pocket. It's not huge, but it doesn't need to be. Also, I have, or you have this, and this right here, they're, they're just calling this a, a, a big organizer, I can't remember what they call it exactly, it's a stuff pocket, I think is what they're calling this, it's just a big stuff pocket. And this can go as big, some people have helmets that I've noticed that they put in here, um, so you can even fit a helmet in here if you wanted to. You're going to be, if, you're on, if it's on your back, you're going to be really tipping one way if you have a helmet in here. But it's called a shove it pocket, just came to me. I keep my hat in here, I have this knife when it's not on my side. SC6, carry that in there, but you cinch that down and it just looks like a part of the pack. I've seen people that cut this out, that cut this webbing, webbing out here, <clears throat> and they'll put their baby's legs through it and use this as a, um, a baby carry bag. I don't know what that's called. Anyway, but they'll put their legs right through there, cinch the little fella in, little girl, whatever, and carry the baby in here. Once again, that's going to be very uh, heavy you do that if you're carrying a lot of stuff in here, a lot of gear. On the front of this bag, you have this big organizer pocket, and it, it's a nice size. It's 15 inches high by, um, I'm sorry on that, it's not. It's 15 inches high by 11 inches wide by 2 inches deep. So it's a nice size, and in here, just like an admin pouch, you have your your webbing here, really big size webbing. I got a med kit in there. I got a big Swiss Army knife. Lots of webbing there. Webbing up here, carry all my fire kit up here. Altoids tin, it's got everything in it. Another little tin. Very nice webbing. And in here, you got your different compartments. Roll this down so you guys can see it. So you got your pen holders, or for some of us, bug spray holders anti-itch cream, different things like that. I got my hammock in here, water straw, flashlight, multi-tool, nice size bag, bunch of different organization pockets, extra container, so very nice, very nice in the front. Moving on here, In the main compartment, before we get in the main compartment, once again, let me get everything on the outside done. We also have on the top here, your typical 511 uh, fleece lined sunglass pouch or MP3 or MP3 pouch or I have a signal in there in mine. Uh, I wear my glasses, I don't carry them. And then there's some uh, something to clean my glasses with. It's pretty nice. It hangs down in the bag fairway, so if it's full, uh, you know, I feel stuff in there right now. But very nice, nonetheless. 
And then also in the back of this, you got your hydration bladder pouch. And I keep a hydration bladder in here, Camelback. This is a three liter, but it doesn't have water in it because um, it would just be too poochy. Um, I might not even be able to fill this up all the way, to be honest with you. I've not tried that, but have this in there. It's got a board in the back with a rail in it. I've taken that aluminum rail out of mine, but you can take this out. You guys can see that, and that's just a board there that's Velcroed in. Okay, so that's what's in the, the hydration. Pouch. Also, you have these uh, this waist belt. It's padded, but it's not really padded. If any of you guys backpack or anything like that, you're going to see um, th it's not really padded. Okay, it's it's like a quarter of an inch thick. It's better than nothing, I guess. But you can take, if you just want to carry this as a backpack, you can take and fold these up. And they do go right in the back. There's a slot right here you can take. Stuff that right in there so you can get rid of the padded waist belt. Other than that, you've got Molly on the straps here. On the shoulder straps, you've got your cinch here. You can cinch down, make it tighter. There, your compression strap there on your chest. And also, I love how 511's doing this, this yoke style uh, shoulder straps now. It, it really is comfortable if you're not carrying a lot of weight in it. So just okay, guys. That. Now to the main compartment, and this main compartment is huge. I love how it zips all the way down. So if you're if you like to pack your stuff neatly, you can just fold it back, and it folds right open. So you have access to the entire bag. How this folds open. <clears throat> what I have in here, or first of all, you have the the nice webbing up top that you can carry stuff in. You have another big webbing in here. I have four four mountain house mills stuffed in that right there, right now. And then you've got this that's not webbed. That's just a separate little pouch inside that zips. It's a nice size. I have nothing in there because it takes up room inside and that's where I have everything else. So very nice here. As you can see, easy to organize things and then this main compartment okay guys the main compartment here is huge this main compartment is 23 inches high by 13 and a half inches wide by 8 inches deep okay it's very very big just this compartment alone is 2639 cubic inches that's bigger than the 511 Rush 24 entire bag. It's only 2,000 cubic inches. So inside this main compartment, I have a roll of toilet paper. Always need toilet paper. That will be like gold in a crisis situation. I have a little dry sack here. Uh, with, it's got an extra pair of underwear and socks in here. I have these Maxpedition uh, five by seven bags that I keep my cook kit in. Uh, my SBIT alcohol stove, my little camera, film containers, canisters with sugar, and have my stove in here. Um, so that goes in here with me. I have these little survival metrics, uh, water resistant, not waterproof, bags. It's just good when you have a big pack to have everything organized in its own separate, uh, so you can just grab it. I know what this is, that's all I need. I don't have to dig through everything in the world. And basically this is just another little med kit. Stereo strips, band-aids, eye drops, different things like that, survival metrics. Find these on eBay for seven or eight bucks. They're great, highly recommend them. <clears throat> and in here, I have another five, uh, sorry, another Maxpedition five by seven pounds. And this is just my toiletry kit, all in a Ziploc bag. So if I'm flying even with this, I just pull this out and put it in the bag that I'm using to fly with. Also, the cocoon sheets. For those of you who sleep in a hot climate or a wet place or whatever and you're inside this wool blanket, as you guys know, wool blankets are very itchy. Sometimes I can just sleep in these, but sometimes it's nice to have this and then just drape the wool blanket 
around you as you crawl in these cocoon um, sheets. They're cheap. They're easy. So these are tent stakes to my Terra Nova Adventure Tart 2 that I carry inside of this as well. Um, these are just some cheap stakes that I got off of eBay, I think, but they're awesome. They're almost like the MSR ones. Very tough. Go in the ground nicely. Handy to have. This is my wool blanket. It's the Italian military style wool blanket. Smell, still smells like mothballs. Um, not so bad. It's aired out. But this takes up the majority of this pack, unfortunately. Uh, it's over four pounds, and it's huge, as you can see. And I've tried to fold it instead of roll it just to get more space in this bag. I have this little towel for long-term situations. Uh, this is a little microfiber dry light towel. Works very nicely, by the way. That's in here. And then I have a change of clothes. I have a pair of socks, another pair of socks. I have some boxer shorts, t-shirt, different things like that in here. A pair of pants. I have a pair of pants down in this pocket in the back. And another pair of socks. Socks are huge, guys, when you're out, you know, having to sleep. Change your socks when you sleep, when you're having to hike a lot. It really it does make a difference in comfort. This is my little uh, ember lit stove. In case I run out of alcohol or whatever I'm burning in my ESPIT, always have a backup. This thing's awesome, too, by the way. ESPIT. I'm sorry, not ESPIT. Ember lit stove. But you can see this pocket here in the bottom of this bag. And what I've done, and you can cinch this down, what I've done is just put a pair of pants in there, extra pair of pants. So it's stuck down in the bottom in the back. If I'm after my pants, it's something that obviously I've taken the time to get to. It's not something I need right now. I'm gonna be making camp, be pulling stuff out of my pack, pants, socks, underwear, stuff like that's easy. It should be at the bottom of your bag. Here's another shirt, some more underwear. And as you can see, there's that sunglass holder pouch hanging down in the bag. But there's another, another mesh pocket in the back. And I've just put some more clothes in that so it's on the back. So it's the last thing I need to get This to. is a Terra Nova Tarp, Terra Nova Adventure Tarp 2. This stays behind the wool blanket. Um, it's, it goes all the way up to the top. So if I just unzip the top, I can pull this out right from behind the blanket. I will do a separate review on this tarp because this is a fantastic piece of gear. I, I love this thing. Very affordable. Um, it, it packs down smaller than a rain uh, poncho, tarp poncho, military poncho. I mean, look at this thing. It, it, it can almost fit in my BDU pocket. But this is a 9x9 nine nine wonderful tarp. We've tried and tested this thing and pouring down rain, not a drip. So stay tuned for another review from that in the future. So that pretty much covers this 511 bag, uh, 51172. And once again, I love this bag. I, I love the tough, the tough Cordura uh, or denier nylon. I, I love all of this. It is taking a beating. Uh, it continues to look great. I love olive drab. As I said, it comes in three different colors. It comes in the olive drab, the black, and then the, the flat dark earth or flat earth dark, whatever it's called. But the zippers are wonderful. Um, just huge, wonderful zippers. Very tough. If this bag, like I said, had a yoke adjustment system on it to adjust for, or came in a different size. A lot of hiker backpacks, you know, come in a small, medium, and then there's another size, medium, large, for people with longer torsos. And at six foot, six feet tall, I have a 20 inch torso. So this bag just does not fit me in the carry for a long way situation. And once again, if you had to, you'd be happy you had it. If you wanted to, you'd hate, you'd hate life. Uh, I tried it for an hour, so I've ended up getting a actual backpacking backpack which we will do a review on when we actually get it but I had a cheap backpacking backpack that uh, I had bought years ago at a Target when we hiked some on the Appalachian Trail and after wearing this for an hour I just I put 35 pounds in the the backpacker backpack and put that on and it was like a breath of fresh air I was sorely disappointed 
So I will probably sell this just because I don't need this many bags. I will sell this. I will keep the Rush 24 to continue just to carry clothes, two or three days of clothes if I'm in people's houses and different things. But the other pack will serve as my have to go out, bug out bag, whatever you want to call it, and hike for long distances. So once again, guys, I think this whole total bag is 2,000. 896 cubic inches so it's it's a pretty good sized bag I think that's 47.5 liters uh, very nice bag once again I hate that it does not have a torsion a torso adjustment so guys that's the review of the 511 rush 72 I hope it has helped you guys make some informative decisions to be able to see what can fit where and and, and to know the pocket dimensions of this bag. Once again, I love this bag. It breaks my heart that it is just not that comfortable for a six foot tall man. Um, wish it had a torso adjustment. That would be fantastic. But once again, this is our review of the 511 Rush 72. Hope to come at you guys soon with another video. But until then, remember guys, practice for the crisis so that in the crisis, it's just like practice.